myth, the vaccine will give me COVID-19. The second um, concern people have is that the vaccine itself could cause the disease. So the disease is caused by an RNA virus. The virus has, as you've seen, these little spikes that stick out. The virus is much smaller than a bacteria. Um, millions of viruses would fit into one bacteria. The bacteria is typically smaller than a cell. So these little prongs that look like antennas hook to the outside of the cell, usually in your nasopharynx or in your lung, and they can uh, penetrate through the uh, membrane of the cell and enter. And then the, the, back, the virus takes over uh, in the nucleus the reproduction of DNA and makes uh, RNA, which is the messenger, a copy of the DNA and can make a million viruses and, the, and then the cell dies and the viruses spill out and they go attack other cells. So you can't get the disease from just a copy of the spike protein. That's that little antenna that sticks out because it's not attached to the virus. There's no um, uh, um, issue, it's a protein. The protein is recognized by your immune system your um, B cells and T cells, your immune cells, recognize and make antibodies to the protein. But there's no virus in the vaccine. It's uh, a copy of the protein, spike protein, the surface molecule on the virus. So even though the virus is super small, this is only one molecule that's copied and is recognized by your body. The, 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 so a bunch of those um, protein copies are put into a fat cell the reason that the um, vaccine needs to be uh, cold so much is the RNA uh, at room temperature falls apart after about four or five hours. So it's impregnated in a fat globule uh, or lipid. And that globule, when it's cold, protects um, the molecule from being degraded. So that preserves it until it's thawed. So you can't, there's no way you can get the disease from the vaccine. Now you can get symptoms because when your body starts making antibodies, you start getting some of the side effects of um, a beginning of a cold, which is um, the stuff, maybe a fever, a uh, stuffed up nose, a stomach ache, a headache. Um, and so those things are related to your body's response to making the antibody. So you can get symptoms, and some people do. Um, so there's a possibility that a, a rare person could be somehow allergic probably to the lipid, not to the protein. And so that's why um, healthcare providers are supposed to observe people after the first injection to make sure that they're not one of those super rare people that have an allergy attack. Um, and if you have a lot of allergies to everything, you're in a separate class and maybe you should consider not getting the vaccine. But the vast majority of us are not like that. And you cannot get the disease from the vaccine.